Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if your Wi-Fi is connected but you do not have internet access on your computer. So basically if you get that little notification that says it's connected but no access, in today's tutorial I'm going to show you guys a few different workarounds on how to hopefully resolve that. And we're going to go ahead and jump right into it. First thing I would actually recommend would be just to restart your computer. So just go ahead and turn off your computer and then turn it back on. See if that resolves the problem, which in a lot of cases it actually will. Another thing you can try for your router, if there's a reset button or you can just try unplugging it from the wall and then plugging it back in after about 30 seconds to reset it. And then just plug it back in like I said and then try and connect back to your Wi-Fi and see if that has resolved the problem. Definitely something to try for that. Another thing you can go ahead and try if you've exhausted those two options would be to go ahead and open up the start menu and type in CMD. Best result should come back with command prompt. You want to go right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive the user account control prompt, go ahead and select yes. Now into this command line window you want to type in IP config space forward slash flush DNS exactly as it appears on my screen. So again IP config followed by a space and then forward slash flush DNS hit enter on your keyboard should say successfully flush the DNS resolver cache now you want to type in NETSH space WinSock W-I-N-S-O-C-K space reset again exactly how it appears on my screen hit enter on your keyboard to run that command you will need to reset your computer in order to complete the reset so go ahead and just restart your computer Okay guys, so then go ahead and try and connect to your network or internet and see if that has resolved the problem. Another thing we can try here would be to go open up the start menu, type in device manager, best results should come back with device manager, go ahead and left click on that. Double click on the network adapter section, and then whatever your network connection is listed in here, you want to go right click on it and select update driver. Select Browse My Computer for Drivers, and then select Let Me Pick from a list of available drivers on my computer. Select whatever is the best match recommended, and then select Next. And should say it has successfully updated your drivers. Close out of here. Again, see if that has resolved the problem. 
Another thing we can try here would be to go ahead and actually do a complete network reset. So make sure you have your Wi-Fi password nearby because this is going to clear everything out and you're going to have to enter back in your credentials once you reset your computer. And those credentials would be for your Wi-Fi password, not your computer credentials, which you may have to enter anyway, but this is going to be your Wi-Fi password. So make sure you have that nearby before you do our next step here. And once you have that, you're going to go open up the start menu, type in network reset. Best results should come back with Network Reset right above System Settings. Go ahead and left click on that. Go ahead and select the Reset Now button. So before doing that you can read it up here that says that this will remove then reinstall all your network adapters and set other networking components back to their original settings. You might need to reinstall other networking software afterwards such as VPN client software or virtual switches. Your PC will be restarted. Select the Reset Now button. Select yes if you want to reset your network settings. So again, select yes. And you should close out of any open programs and applications because your computer is going to shut down within five minutes here. So go ahead and close it here and restart your computer. Okay, there you go guys. You can see that now it's going to ask you to reset your network settings. You may have to enter back in your credentials. But besides that, that's pretty much it. Nothing really else to cover in this tutorial. So, as always, thank you guys for watching. Do a buzz, I'll help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.